Today we're going to evaluate these three limits using L'Hopital's rule. We'll start with the easiest and they get harder as we go on. Take a look in the description to see when we start each problem if you want to skip ahead to the harder ones. Okay, let's start with number one. This is the limit as x goes to zero of x plus tangent of x over sine of x. Okay, so the first thing you should do is just try to plug in x equals zero and see what happens. Okay, so if we did that, we would get zero plus tangent of zero, which is zero, over sine of zero, which is also zero. Okay, so we're clearly in indeterminate form. So we could use L'Hopital's rule, right? And we have a fraction, so we're definitely allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. So this is equal to, by L'Hopital's rule, the limit as x goes to zero of the derivative of the top, one plus, what's the derivative of tangent? That's secant squared x. Over the derivative of the bottom. What's the derivative of sine of x? It's cosine of x. Okay, and now we could just plug in x equals zero, and we get one plus one, which is two over one. So this limit, the limit as x goes to zero of x plus tangent of x over sine of x is equal to two. Now we're going to evaluate the limit as x goes to infinity of x minus natural log of x. So again, the first thing we should do is plug in infinity, you know, whatever that means. And when we do that, we get infinity minus natural log of infinity. So infinity minus infinity. Okay, so we're in another indeterminate form, but we don't, we can't use L'Hopital's rule yet, because remember, you need a fraction to use L'Hopital's rule. So we somehow have to combine x minus natural log of x as a fraction. And so what we're going to do is, so this is still the limit as x goes to infinity, we could rewrite x as the natural log of e to the x. And then the natural log of x stays the same. Okay, and now we could combine these together using uh, limit lo um, log laws. So this is the natural log of e to the x over x. Okay, and now let's just deal with this inside. So the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x, well, that's gonna be indeterminate form, right? Infinity over infinity. So this is equal to, by L'Hopital's rule, right? I said this, these are all L'Hopital's examples, so we should use L'Hopital's rule at some point. The limit as x goes to infinity of what's the derivative of e to the x? It's e to the x. And what's the derivative of x? It's just one. So this is equal to infinity. And so our limit up here is the natural log of infinity, which is also infinity. So uh, the limit as x goes to infinity of x minus ln of x is also equal to infinity. Not bad. And we're on to the last one, which I said is the hardest. It's the limit as x goes to infinity of x raised to the natural log of two over one plus natural log of x. Okay, and if we tried to just plug in x equals infinity, what would we get? We'd get infinity raised to the, well, natural log of two, this, uh, this denominator is gonna get really big, so it's gonna be something over infinity, which is zero. So this is another indeterminate form, but here we have this exponent. So the way we deal with these exponents is we set this limit equal to something, maybe call it y. And now let's take the natural log of both sides and then find the limit uh, of the natural log. So the natural log of y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of this whole thing, x to the ln of two over one plus 
ln of x. Using log laws or log rules, we could bring the exponent in front. Okay, so ln of y is equal to uh, the limit as x goes to infinity of ln of 2 over 1 plus ln of x times ln of x, which I'll just bring it into the numerator. Right, and now we could try to just plug in x equals infinity again. What would we get? Infinity over infinity. So we could use L'Hopital's rule. So this is equal to, by L'Hopital's rule, the limit as x goes to infinity. The derivative of the top. All right, ln of 2 is just a constant. Okay, so it's, it's just a scalar times ln of x. So the top, the derivative of the top, is ln of 2 over x. The derivative of the bottom, derivative of 1 is 0, and derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So the 1 over x is cancel, and we get ln of 2. Okay, so, but that's not the final answer. ln of y is equal to ln of 2. So raising both sides to the, or e to the power of both sides, we get the limit as x goes to infinity of x to the ln of 2 over 1 plus ln of x, which is y here, uh, is equal to e to the natural log of 2, which is 2. And there you have it. So that's L'Hopital's rule. Easy, medium, and hard. Let me, in the, let me know in the comments um, how you did. And good luck studying for your test. I know you're here because you're studying for your calc test. Good luck. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.